guys, please do this before you go out and buy salvage denim. This is gonna save you a lot of time, a lot of expense, a lot of disappointment, and it overall will help you find that perfect fit. It doesn't matter how expensive your jeans are, it doesn't matter how much you spend on them, if they don't fit, they're not gonna look right. Make sure to always take your measurements off of your best fitting pair of jeans and know your measurements. Pretty much whatever website you go on from whatever brand you're shopping from, they're all going to have a size chart. And they're going to tell you the exact finished measurements that will help you find your perfect fitting pair of jeans. Now the only way that this works is if you know your perfect jeans measurements. Here are the key measurements that you need to make sure that you don't make a mistake when buying salvage denim and waste a whole lot of money like I did. The first measurement you need to know about is the waist. Basically what you need to do is lay your jeans flat on the table and make sure that the jean is buttoned and make sure that it's stretched out but not stretching to the widest point that the jean sits. And then what you're going to do is take the end of the tape measure above the waistband and run it parallel all the way to the end of the waistband and whatever number you get at the end you're going to double that and that's going to be the finished waist measurement. You might notice on some jeans that are labeled 33 they finish at 35 or some jeans that are labeled 31 they're going to finish at 33 that's called vanity measurements so you also need to know which brands are going to use vanity measurements and which brands are going to use true finished measurements the next one is the thigh now the thigh is one of those measurements where a lot of brands measure at different points some measure three inches down from the crotch some measure four inches down from the crotch and a lot of that has to do with where the rise is going to finish so i always find that for me a calm middle ground is about three to four inches and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that tape measure and you're gonna measure down four inches and then you're going to measure across the thigh point and then you're going to double that number and that's the finished thigh another super important measurement that you really gotta know is the inseam this is especially important if you want to make your jeans a little bit longer so this way you can cuff them up and show off the selvage ID so basically take that perfect fitting pair of jeans and you're gonna uncuff them lay them flat on the table and you're gonna measure along the inseam starting from the crotch where the leg meets the rise and you're gonna follow it all the way down to the hem and this measurement is not doubled this measurement is true because it's not folded on the half the last measurement that everybody needs to know if all else fails is the hem or foot measurement this is going to really determine how pegged your jeans are, how skinny, how loose, how trim, how fitted the jeans are going to fit. Basically, at the end of the leg, you're going to take the tape measure and you're going to run it across parallel to the bottom hem. And then whatever number you get at the end, that's the finished hem or foot measurement. And one thing to keep in mind, guys, since Japanese denim is such a huge thing in the selvage denim world, a lot of these brands use centimeters so you're gonna need to convert these numbers from inches into centimeters if you're in the US and the thing is when converting from inches to centimeters a lot of times you're not gonna get a true clean number you're gonna get an odd number like 33.7 or 34.3 stuff like that and you want to make sure that you don't go too small because these jeans are going to shrink and they're not going to stretch enough to fit you. They're only going to stretch to accommodate your leg movement. And to be honest with you guys, it's not a good look. Just make sure to size up and make your jeans fit you. If you really want them to fit you that badly, then spend the extra 10 to 15 bucks to get them tailored to your leg because it's easier to take something that's bigger and trim it down than it is to try and stretch something that's too small. But yeah guys, let me know if you have any questions. This should help you guys find your perfect fitting pair of selvage denim so this way you don't waste money like I did.